Nice. I should be off work. That, yeah, I should Fuck. be off work as long as we're not planning oh, on doing it at I 10 was in the so morning. Close. Damn it. Um, what, uh, what do you do? Um, what time Thursday? Uh, the usual time I would do a stream. Yeah, Six. it's around, like, Six. uh... Is it, is it, is your, is it your job that's holding you back? Well, well, I don't know. I, I don't know what the time is yet, because before you said it, everyone jumped in with, oh. it's gonna be... It, uh, my usual... Be around... Sorry. The usual time, which is, like, when I do my gaming stream, like, a late hour... Okay. So that would it would it'd be talking. like it would be uh, our time about eight p.m. ish. Yeah. Okay, so eight p.m. Central. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then it's just a question. Time zones are a thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> on, on yes, another, sir. On another note. Hey. Oh, hey. Death Force. What you drinking? What you drinking? I got cherry coke. Pepsi. Oh, you heathen. <laughs> what, should, what should we name? No, he no, you know what everyone, it. everyone, everyone. What should we name a Deaf Horse's cold one? Depsy. 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 That's Deepus. nah. That that that's that's. No, nah, I'm just gonna hard. call it Beepus. He's drinking the Beepus. I need to fix my. I have a pin that's like a, a soda bottle top, and it says Beppus and Conk. I need to fix those because they're broken Beppus right now. Conk. I bought the Trotcon one year, and I wore them for like a year straight because they were just the funniest goddamn thing on this earth. It's just like, Peppus and Corn. Ow! Like, fucker. Uh, Come on. You should Come also... On, fucker. Ooh, you should also make a video, Robin. <laughs> just a bit. Yeah, I should. I'm going to make one tomorrow. Also, <laughs> um, also uh, I just wanted to say... Uh, Hmm? Hello, Dusky. Ow! Welcome to the stream if you didn't hear it earlier. I did. I said hi back. Oh, Dusky's oh, here. I did not hear you pop yeah. up. Yeah. Everyone boop the Dusky. Meow. Kisses. Des Mwah. How, have, how have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. We haven't yeah. seen you in a while. Yes, well, I was yeah, kind of We haven't seen any of hurricane. us in a while. Robin, you're the one who's been online, dear. Who's been offline, rather. <laughs> There's, yeah. There was a little bit of a fucking hurricane in yeah, the way. Apologies. I noticed. It's, well, not well, how, how it's not your fault that it's been a hot minute. It's not your fault. It's not your fault that it's been a hot minute, so. It's been a hot minute. Oh, wait, you're saying that you don't hot. control the weather? What'd you say? You're saying you don't control the weather in your area? I wish I could. I would what, not have, what have a hurricane you been doing? season. What have you been doing with your life? Buying not toy controlling story the weather. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, Robin, I see you've chosen the path of the muggle. <laughs> what? I'll be over here <laughs> getting weather. my... So I'll be over here getting oh! my weather and flying on my broomstick. You can just it, be a dude. muggle and tolerate it. Yeah, understandable. Yes, but... but but Listen, I can't control the weather, but I bought a, but I have a uh, laser disc coming in tomorrow, or it's already in. I need to pick it up tomorrow. Oh, so that's gonna go. be fun. Empty. I'm I unboxing guess. a laser disc. <laughs> that and uh, the Buzz Lightyear Star Command: The Adventure Begins DVD version, which was actually fucking hard to find and slightly expensive. Not like Me, stupid. Yeah. Money. Oh, wait, is this is this a game or the show? The sh the <laughs> movie. The, the TV movie that they did. So it's the it's still the Tim Allen uh, version of the audio, but because it was made in the year, you know, 90, it was made in 2000, uh, DVDs weren't super common. They were common enough to where, you know, I can no, actually I buy a copy I remember because the first DVD player went on sale in the market in 1997. Yeah. So the uh, the Buzz Lightyear DVD, the Buzz Lightyear Star Command, the movie, because they never put the TV show on DVD, they only made one print run of the movie version, and they prioritized VHS. Like, I wanted a VHS copy. It's like, you know, $3. Uh, I spent about $14 on this DVD from the year 2000. I mean, that's uh, about as much as a new DVD, roughly. Uh, uh, no. No, <laughs> wait. A new DVD is about, like, 7 Yeah, no, sorry, I'm used... I'm used to buying Blu-ray so often now. I'm not oh, yeah, used to I'd... buying DVDs anymore. I just buy the Blu-ray. I buy Blu-ray or Steelbooks, and uh, yeah, buying spending fifteen dollars on on a DVD from two thousand is pretty sad. I mean, Damn it. yeah, it been a lot worse. Like if we're if we're talking about the stuff I've oh. bought for ah. um, uh, the Toy Story retrospective, just the DVDs, because we're not going to talk about the Steelbooks because I spent more money on those because they're harder to find. Um, 
The Ultimate Toy Story 1 and 2 collector set was $5.50. Toy Story of Terror was $2. Toy Story of the Time Forgot was $3. And Buzz Lightyear Star Command The Adventure Begins is $15. <laughs> I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been worse. That is not the I mean, most. I you could have just anymore. bought it for like, Robin. You could have just bought it for like what, thirty bucks or like a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, there were some people who were asking for like forty dollars for this DVD sealed, and I was like, No. Nope. Is the DVD scratched to hell, and can I watch the movie? Yes. Cool. I'll buy that. I don't care about it being sealed or not. Like, I don't see a point in buying a sealed copy of this movie. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. <laughs> It's kind of yeah. like what happened when I bought this um, rare CD from this Japanese band. It took much longer for it to arrive because it's a, it was a Japanese imported one, but the price itself was actually a pretty good steal. It was like 11 bucks In comparison to the other prices that usually tend to go to a hunt to maybe 60 to probably around 90 to 100 Yeah, there were some. there are some things that I want to buy for the Toy Story Retrospective, mm -hmm. But I know that it would be a very big waste of money, and no one would appreciate it as much as I would. There is a um, so there is so you guys might know about my obsession with um, for your consideration DVDs. I think they're super Damn cool it. and unique. Uh, oh! Toy Story, Toy Story Four. I found one for like twenty dollars, which is a lot of money for a Toy Story Four DVD in standard definition with no extra features. But it's cool to me, so I would find it interesting. There is one copy I have found. For Toy Story 3, it is ninety-five dollars. Hey. I am not spending ninety-five dollars on a Toy Story That's 3 DVD. Yeah. As much fun as I would have with it, because I would find it unique and interesting. That's a hundred fucking dollars for a I, DVD. I mean, yeah. like, I don't know if this is just me because I'm a fucking brat. I, this is kind of similar to how I spent, like, what, like, 80 fucking bucks or, like, something like that for, a, like, a set no. of markers. But, but well, mar markers have a lot more use yeah, than a DVD well, that I won't use. But here's the thing, <laughs> yeah. is that art supplies do vary and they do scale up. I could realistically yeah. believe, like, high-end markers for art could easily be $80, and there's probably easily way more pricey ones than that. Alex, are they Coptic? No, they're not even Copics. They're like a dupe of Copics. Yeah, oh, wow. I know that. I know that even uh, knockoff oh, Copics are still like fucking expensive. Yeah, they're especially the anime-based ones, like the anime. Yeah, markers I would love to get Copics. They're like, oh my god, the, they're Say, my uh, bucket list to get. Finally, <laughs> Star Very Raptor, nice. you're not. Hell yeah. The, oh. Star Raptor ninety four. Most people with money, food, games, etc. Robin, I got Woody and Buzz. Uh, so. <laughs> Fun fact, I did buy a completely useless thing, which was the uh, laser disc that I have coming in that I, that I got. I bought it because A, it's a laser disc, that's really funny, and B, it has an art book, so I'm about to read the art book, and that's literally it. And I found a VHS version with the same art book, and I'm probably going to buy that because... Robin, why would you buy the Toy Story DVDs when they're all on Disney Plus, at least the main movies? Uh, because oh, I you... like them. A Sir, lot. Guys. I mean, there's no shame in it, so... <laughs> yeah, I, guys, I'm i an What's obsessive up? collector. What's up? Yeah? No, I'm just talking about the audience. Like, guys, do you know the mentality of a collector? <laughs> yeah, like, um... Listen. I am a, I'm both a collector and a completionist when it comes to, like, stuff that I enjoy. Uh, so I currently have one through three on my original DVDs that I bought, you know, in 2005 and then 2010 like, for Toy Story 3. Isn't that normal for everybody to collect stuff? A little yeah. bit, but yeah. I am also, definitely obsessive one where I find the weird ones. Dude, like, oh, that's funny. Dude, I actually like a part of me wants to share like a funny little like, uh, like story from last night because after I got like a really nice paycheck after working Labor Day, um, Fuck yeah. Like, I saved myself some money and got myself something else, but something I was really tempted to do. I searched on eBay to find a like a handheld console. With a couple of extra games that I still have yet to own, and it was a fucking Game Gear. It was over a hundred bucks, and I was like, "The temptation is real," but I had to hold on to it. That's a probably a smart idea. Yeah, that's a mood. That is. Yeah, like I mean, I, yeah. eBay is my worst enemy because I will find funny, weird things, and I'll be like, "I should buy that for the sole purpose <laughs> of it would be funny in a video." Like the that's the laser disc. The laser disc I'm buying because I know it'll be funny in a video. 
<laughs> um, I'm just like, because it's if you've never seen a laser disc, uh, look They're at the big. vinyl record. That's how big it is, and this box is huge as fuck, and it's <laughs> very funny to me. Also, it looks really fucking cool. Like, I'm really excited to have that for my collection because I I like collecting Toy Story stuff, especially. I now have all four of the main movies on um, uh, steel. I have them in steelbook form, so they're in UH They're UHD, you know, 4K, you know, uh, 4K upscales, which is the version you can get on Disney Plus. But you know, they're physical and they have a little metal shell, and I love them. Uh, and as for why I'm buying like some of the smaller releases, like Toy Story at the time forgot. Disney Plus hasn't put the fucking audio commentaries up yet, so I can't do the things I need to do for the show, for the series if I need to listen to the audio commentaries and shit. <laughs> Disney Plus hates me. I mean... Disney hates I mean, everybody. Yeah, yeah they do. Disney. Yeah, like, they have the commentary for Toy Story 4, and that's it. I understand why, like, um, 1 and 2 don't really have their commentaries up because I feel like they're trying to distance themselves from John Lasseter, which, you know, fair. Um, but, you know, 3 and to and Toy Story The Time Forgot and the um, Toy Story of Terror, like, those have audio commentaries, and they're not on Disney+, Plus, so I need to have a physical copy of them, because I'm like this. <laughs> hey, Rob. Hey. Also, Galaxy... You complain about buying markers, which even though they're 70 bucks, again, they're at least art supplies. I bought a fucking bio a fucking um biography of one of my favorite bands and it's technically now out of date. I thought you were about to say Bionicle. Uh, yeah, no, okay, can I tell a story about that? I bought one in 2010 when it ended, right? Mm -hmm. And because I'm like, okay, um Bionicle was a very good run. Uh it ended, so uh cool, but I'm just like, okay, and I was really good to have the foresight about this, because this ended up being correct. I will probably someday lose the Bionicle collection somewhere or another, and I did. But I'm like, I may as well keep, uh, keep one of them, just as a like, okay, this Ooh, was nice. a major part of my childhood, and it will just be, be assembled and sit on my computer desk, just as a little nod to that. So I got a 2001 Tahu in 2010, sealed, and it was like, I did spend 80 bucks on it, but it was, but, and I totally acknowledge that that's a lot, but that's also just sentimental value. Let me look up how much that would be now. Oh God, Lego stuff like that, it's, you can never let, if you Ow! missed it, it is so much more expensive. No, dude, uh, I missed one that I wanted, to, that I wanted to get just for shits and giggles because I also love cars. So that, oh, yeah. they did one for the 4G, the, a dual set for the 4GT. Awesome. I love the 4GT. And then it's like, oh, I missed it by a couple of years because they timed it with the release of Ford vs. Ferrari, which, speaking of movies, I own a physical copy of. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, but it is now $100. Yeah, it's fucking insane. Like, sealed new. Like, because I wanted to get into Lego sometimes, like, and this oh is, my again, God. my Toy Story obsession. I wanted to get some of the Toy Story Legos. Holy shit, what? have you guys seen how much they go for? Wait, In wait, 2000 wait. In 2010, uh, Lego did a small, a limited run of Toy Story sets to promote Toy Story 3. So there's a couple, like, Toy Story 1 and 2 sets as well, and I really wanted some of those. Okay, like, Robin. Yeah? Do you want to know... How much is the... the value of it today? Oh, God, I'm scared. Okay, the lowest range for today... Is 179. The highest <laughs> one oh for again modern time is 29301. And today, the established the one of them sold at a value of 211. Do keep in mind though, I'm talking like sealed, never been opened. But remember, I bought a sealed, never been opened one for just 80 bucks. So this thing has n over doubled right. its value. Easy. Jeez. Jeez.